Hello, I'm Steve, and welcome to Retro Tech. If this is your first time on the channel, I'd please appreciate it if you would consider maybe subscribing, or if you do like the content, also like the video, and we always appreciate feedback, so comments are always welcome. Uh, so today's episode, I want to look at something very special. Recently, I had a collection of toys given to me. This was handed down to me from my grandparents and my father. These, uh, it was a large collection of toys. I've taken out what I consider to be the better parts of them. There's a lot of things from the 60s, um, but some of them I found was this box of vintage Matchbox series cars. These were in a container like this. They've been sitting there for decades. And a lot of them, all of these were actually still in their original boxes. I even got the original manual for that year, 67. And they were, um, a lot of them are in great shape. The boxes are still in great shape. I just want to show you how I handle this kind of a collection. In case something like this happens to you, you could either start collecting these or uh, I'll show you what I ended up doing. And let's first take a closer look at some of the better toys. This is a closer look at these Matchbox series cars and there were about 30 of them. There was this nice collector's catalog USA edition which had been filled in, checked out some. Very colorful, still looks great for its age and not missing any pages in pretty good condition. So um, this was just something that stood out to me. There were a lot of uh, kind of special, special ones here that I, I thought I'd show you first. Some of them are not not too sought after, um, but they they are pretty neat. This one was kind of sought after. It's a Land Rover, and some of them had one side missing out of the box. But even with that, um, it does have a, a, a pretty good value on some of these. They were ranging from anywhere from ten to you know. Up to it's of some people were asking sixty seventy dollars a piece for some of these rarer ones, but you see they're extra uh, clean. A lot of them, some are in rough shape, but this is a good example of one of the cleaner ones. This Land Rover, a really high quality toy. These were uh, originally manufactured by Lesney, and that's actually in uh, in England. You can see right there, uh, every single one of them. Very high quality toys. You can see why they lasted. Uh, over 50 years to this point and some of the some of them were even designed to do mechanical motions like this dump truck or this trash truck here and uh, so what do you do when you get all these things you find this and somebody says they either want to give it to you they're gonna throw it out or maybe you see it at a yard sale and you think maybe I should buy that and uh, do something with it well the best way to get the most money it's going to be online sales most likely through eBay. Now eBay does charge you some fees. Please realize they charge you 13% nearly with PayPal and eBay fees off whatever you're charging. And uh, so you need to remember that when you're trying to sell something that 13% of it's going to be taken away in fees right off the right at the beginning. And so if you can find some other way to sell it, that'll be nice. Uh, the way to get the most money is to be patient, try to price your products the right way, and then you can uh, price your products the right way, and then you can just uh, use a buy it now and wait for a buyer to come along and want the exact item that you have. I'm actually going to, I've got these all listed at the time of this video on eBay and I just started them all at 99 cents a piece for an auction because I was trying to test and see kind of the interest and some of these are really cool like this race car here I mean just great condition look at these toys these are these are amazing shape this is an old Ferrari it's just beautiful um, and for the age so again selling it on eBay there there are the fee drawbacks and then you do have to worry about uh, customer service and making sure your listings are all done with a lot of details and correctly but the good thing about eBay is you can sell worldwide so you're not just limited to the uh, to the area that you know you would be able to sell this maybe locally look at this old Volkswagen van 
just great toy. Look at the doors open up, beautiful inside table in there. Great colored glass, plastic, and uh, just a top quality toy. They just don't make them like this, obviously, anymore. But that'll be one of the more sought after ones, things like this. Anything that looks kind of iconic um, is a good one. Uh, this one's pretty cool, this little wrecker truck. You do want to check and make sure all the parts are there, the wheels are intact, working, and the glass is in the windshields. Uh, here's another one that's got some more parts on it. This is a snow track. But, uh, you can see it's got these tracks that sometimes obviously would get lost or tear up because they're rubber. And some of these boxes, I mean, this is just a beautiful box, even near mint. It looks like it came right from the shelf in the 60s. So just a lot of them. Uh, I will uh, put a link in the description to the auction for all these so you can check them out if you want to take a closer look. There's a lot of detailed pictures on there. But that's my recommendation on what to do with them is to just go sell them on eBay. Uh, you could try Facebook groups too. But the good thing about eBay is even as a seller uh, you do get some protection because you know, people are buying through eBay and they realize that you're paying a lot of these fees. So they will they will understand having to pay a little bit more for something. And then um, once you get going on eBay, if you do people if you treat people right and just consistently list your products uh, correctly, then you really won't run into a lot of troubles. I've had about one or two troubles in three years on eBay selling all kinds of collectibles, and most of the time. Uh, if you just price things right and treat people with respect and, and fair, they will understand and will give you good feedback um, and even sometimes buy from you again. And always answer, you know, emails and questions. Just good things for customer service. So, again, if you'd like to see more of them, they're, uh, they're all listed below. And if you have... Any other kind of toys? Now there were some other toys that were in the collection that were some old random uh, army toys and and things that just weren't in their original boxes. There was actually some Matchbox, or not Matchbox, some Hot Wheels cars from the 60s. And one of those, it's not even in the box and it's worth, you know, 20 bucks. But I might do a follow-up video on the other parts of the toys because there's some things I just have no idea what they even are. But that's just uh, something, you know, if you run across these, just realize that this box, uh, I don't know how much it's going to sell for, all this stuff, but if you have a little to no money invested in this, you come across as somebody who just wants to get rid of it, you should consider picking it up and uh, taking the time to just list it on online to try to get some uh, some money. So... If you uh, have any questions, please leave them below or any comments. I appreciate them. And thanks again for watching Retro Tech. Have a great day.